another shout out to Weston and his family. It was an awesome moment for him to be able to score that first touchdown of scrimmage. I mean, those are the moments in football that you can't, you know, you can't miss. And so he's a part of our team, excited for his family and him to be able to go through that. And, and our team couldn't wait for those moments. He's a guy that we, we see um, dang near all the time, like he'll come eat with us and um, it's somebody we support and we know he's been through a lot. So um, just to do that for him is special for us and um, we got a ton out of it as well. And um, if he wants to do it again, we'll do it again. I mean, if you want to do it every practice, we would. So I mean, love the guy, you know, we know he's uh, been through a ton, so. We have some great highlights to show you from the Boise State spring game, but the first touchdown of the day, of course, was the best of them all. That six-year-old Weston Derrick, an honorary member of the team who's been battling a genetic disease. He's been inspiring his new teammates on the Broncos ever since he signed a few months ago. It's a great tone setter for one of the biggest spring games the Broncos have had in years. Of course, the theme of the day was competition. Maybe the best showing came from the quarterback room. Maddox Madsen is still limited. We saw him on the sidelines with a headset, but we didn't see him take any reps in the game. Instead, the rest of the room got to show the fans and the coaches what they've got. C.J. Tiller completed three of nine passes for 17 yards and an interception. Colt Fulton completed seven of 12 passes for 50 yards and Max Cutforth went two for six. The best showing of the day came from the USC transfer Malachi Nelson. The incoming redshirt freshman went nine of 16 for 137 yards and this beautiful deep ball to Chase Penry who brought down the touchdown reception even with some contact from the defense. After the game, head coach Spencer Danielson told us he still has a lot of work to do, but he's doing a great job adapting to the Boise State system. But you got to think he's the only guy in that quarterback room that had to learn a completely new offense. And so seeing him go from point A to where he's at right now, obviously still a lot of growth, a lot of development needed on his end, but excited where he's grown to. I mean, he's from where he's at right now in the spring game and what we able to see today, from where he was at practice one, there's been a lot of growth and development. Wasn't perfect today, a lot to clean up, made some big throws. He's done a really good job escaping the pocket, using his feet, um, but there's still a lot of development that needs to be happening. We'll flip sides over to the defense. A lot of guys are still rehabbing and have been limited or didn't play in the spring game. It was a great opportunity for some new contributors to step up. How about a familiar name? Gabe Hunter, the walk-on, had a pair of picks in 2022, had a quieter year in 2023. Well, he set the tone today with an interception on the first drive and had quite the run back, 33 yards the other way. Something that certainly got everyone's attention, including his teammate, fellow linebacker Andrew Simpson. It was dope. We were joking with him. We were like, bro, you got to score that. But, I mean, you know, that's what happens when you just do your job every single play. You know, he's a guy that works hard, comes in every day with the same mentality. So it's good to see him rewarded with something like that. Yeah, I mean, Gabe's always been reliable. Even the times two years ago when he did play, like, it wasn't expected. He was just ready when his number was called. So now we just have so much depth and um, so many different positions, it feels like. So Gabe's the guy that can really do his job and we can depend on if uh, his number's called. Now, of course, a lot of fans today came to see number two. Ashton Genty is a potential Heisman candidate, and he's helping fuel the hype for this upcoming season. Boise State doing their part to buy into that. They gave out Genty t-shirts, posters, and then although he was limited on the day to avoid any unnecessary injury, he still gave the fans a show. He took the first snap of the scrimmage on a ride for a 25-yard gain to thunderous applause, of course. In the end, he had 54 yards or five yards for five carries for 54 yards, and he scored a touchdown from about 10 yards out. But the backup running back competition was one to watch for the rest of the time. Some great work from the guys fighting for that number two spot next season. Breezy Dubars took six carries for nine yards and had this goal line touchdown. Well, they have a true freshman. In fact, he actually should still be in high school right now. He was a spring enrollee. Sire Gaines had a really impressive debut out on the blue. He had five carries for 47 yards, including this long run here of 27 yards. Impressive stuff. And I'll tell you what, Carol, and I think there's a good chance we're going to see all three of them take substantial reps next season. But uh, number two, Ashton Genty is probably going to get the, the bulk of the workload. Ooh, does this get your juices going? I'm a little, what are I'm we, a little four or five up. months from actually the schedule starting? You know, it's so fun because you get out there on the blue and you get to watch these big plays <laughs> and you get to hear the crowd again and, and you get amped up. You start, it gets the juices flowing, like you said. And then you realize you got to wait for four or five more months yeah. until we can really see uh, Bronco Nation show out and Boise State kick off on the road against Georgia Southern. You bet. What You had me hooked with that little boy oh, in the was, beginning. It's great to see them doing things like that. I, and I, I love how happy the team was to, to be able to be part of that.
teaches us all lessons. Absolutely. That's great. Okay, we'll be right back.